Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for God's great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for God's great love is without end. Lord, whose love and humble service bore the weight of human need, who did on the cross forsake and show us mercy's perfect deed, we, your servants, bring the worship not of voice alone, but heart, consecrating to your purpose every gift which you impart. As we worship, grant us vision till your love's revealing light, till the height and depth of greatness dawns upon our human sight. Making known the needs and burdens your compassion bids us bear, stirring us to faithful service, your abundant li life to share. Called from worship into service, forth in your grace, name we go to the child the youth the aged love in living deeds to show hope and health goodwill and comfort counsel aid and peace we give that your children lord in freedom may your mercy know and live you alone have i grieved by my sin have pity on me o lord have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight? I have done. That you may be justified when you do give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, touch me, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and your glory before all the nations. You alone have I grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Truly, we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast you off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that we cannot, that cannot be healed? We wait for peace, but to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly, we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, devoted to us as a Father, you created us as a sign of your power, and elected us, your people, to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer, that all people may enter your courts, praising you in song. The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. A reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I willingly boast of my weakness, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I am content with weakness, with mistreatment, with distress, with persecutions and difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am powerless, it is then that I am strong. At daybreak be merciful to me. At daybreak be merciful to me. Make known to me the path that I must walk. Be merciful to me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. At daybreak be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Raising our eyes to Christ, who was born and died and rose again for his people, let us cry out, Save those you have redeemed by your blood, Lord. Blessed are you, Jesus, Redeemer of mankind. You did not hesitate to undergo your passion and death to redeem us by your precious blood. You promised that you would provide living water, the fountain of eternal life. Pour forth your Spirit upon all men. You send disciples to preach the gospel to all nations. Help them to extend the victory of your cross. You have given the sick and the suffering a share in your cross. Give them patience and give them strength. Let us make our prayers and praises complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father all-powerful, let your radiance dawn in our lives, that we may walk in the light of your law with you as our leader. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.